you know, when I, when I heard people talking about my opponent, often they would say his background was in entertainment, and Jimmy is so much more than that. Uh, Jimmy has spent this campaign focusing on the issues that affect ordinary people. Uh, he has focused this campaign primarily on solutions to this opioid crisis that is devastating our families and communities across the Commonwealth, and the challenges uh, that we need to face in criminal justice reform and so many of the other issues uh, that affect uh, ordinary people across Massachusetts. Um, and um, I think that his approach to this campaign is something that will have a real mark on our message as we go forward, and I look forward to continuing to work with him. And when I think about this journey that we've been on for about a year, I'm very proud of the kind of campaign that we've run. I'm proud of the results we had tonight, but I'm also proud that our campaign has represented some of the values that we think are most important uh, in this time. And there are three things in particular that I wanted to do when we launched this campaign about a year ago. And the first is that we wanted to focus this campaign on the needs of vulnerable people on poverty, on inequality, on the kind of commonwealth that we want Massachusetts to be. Massachusetts has this wonderful tradition of leadership on the issues that affect the most vulnerable members of our population. And in this time, this cruel time, I wanted our campaign to be focused on the needs of ordinary people and the most vulnerable. And I'm proud that we have been able uh, to, to focus on those messages. The second thing that I'm proud of about this campaign has been this tone of civ civility. We live in a time when there is an astonishing lack of civility in American politics. And one of the things I wanted to do was be positive in our conversation with others in the Democratic Party and across the campaign. Uh, I wanted to set an example for our children of the kind of politics that we can have. Deval Patrick used to talk about the notion of being of disagreeing without dis being disagreeable. Um, and Jimmy Tingle has made that so easy. We have had a friendship throughout this campaign. There has never been a moment of pettiness or smallness uh, between us or between our campaigns or be between our families. And I credit him for that, and that is the kind of campaign that we wanted to run. And then the third thing I'm most proud about about this campaign is that we wanted this campaign to be about the grassroots. We've traveled to more than 200 communities across the Commonwealth, and we've tried to really listen to the challenges that people face in North Adams, the challenges people face in Fall River, in Falmouth, and in Roxbury. And I think when we think about what happened in that awful election in 2016, it wasn't just that we lost the presidency. We lost the Senate, the House, the governorships, the legislatures, and the courts. And as we think about how we're going to claw our way out of that mess, it's going to come from the grassroots. And we need to run campaigns that represent the best of what happens in our families and the communities all across the state, that respect and empower and include people everywhere across the, 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 the Commonwealth. Um, and I'm very proud that we have been able to reflect that in our campaign. I want to take a moment to thank a few people here tonight. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank our terrific campaign manager, Jeff. Yeah.
I am. Uh, and first and foremost, I want to thank uh, Anna, my wife, has been with me every step of this, but come, come for a second. Thank you. 